Hi friends, for today's Tabata workout, we are gonna be completing four blocks where we will need one single moderately heavy dumbbell. We will be starting with a warm up. we'll warm up for three minutes, we'll end with a stretch. Each of the four blocks have two exercises in them each that we will alternate between. We'll perform an exercise for 20 seconds, we'll rest for 10 seconds, we'll perform the second exercise for 20 seconds, rest for another 10, and then back to the top. And we'll repeat both of those exercises four times, so it's a total of eight 20 second work periods in each block. We'll have a good amount of rest before we start the next block. All right, so grab your moderately heavy dumbbell and we'll get started with our warm up right away. Okay, let's start with our three minute warm up, three minutes on the clock. Let's do some plank walkouts. So down, touch your toes, walk your fingertips out to plank and back up to, to your toes. Stand up, raise your hands in the air. Let's go through that two more times. Down to your toes. Walk out to plank. Back up to your toes. Stand up, arms up. One more time. Back in. Stand on, arms up. All right, now one more time. Out to plank. But this time we're gonna Lower our knees to the mat, and we're going to extend our right arm, left foot to the opposite wall, elbow to knee meet, extend back out, we're placing on the mat. Left arm out, right foot out, elbow to knee meet, back on out. One more time on each side. Elbow to knee, extend. We're placed on the mat. Left hand, right foot out. Elbow to knee. Extend on out. We're placed on the mat. Now let's move through some cat, cat cows. Arch your back up. Let your belly fall. And look up to the ceiling. Arch your back up. Belly drop and look to the ceiling one more time for each. Nice. Now let's stand up. We want us to stretch out our quads a little bit. So grab your foot, keep your knees close together, tilt your hips a little bit forward, and switch. One more time each side. We'll get our arms, cross over, switch, switch, switch. Nice overhead, get your triceps. Now let's do some butt kicks. Get that heart rate up a little bit. And that's time. Your body should be a little bit warmed up, ready to get started, doing lots of work. All right, our first two exercises for block one. We are gonna do the same thing that we were doing in our warm up, where we're gonna do plank walkouts, but when we're in that plank position, we're gonna do a plank jack. So down to your toes, out to plank, plank jack. Modification here, step out, step out, come back up and squeeze. Do as many as we can in the 20 second time period that we have. Our second exercise, we're gonna use that single dumbbell. You're gonna put it in between your feet. You're gonna go down, squat. Grab the dumbbell in the middle with one hand. Bring it up close to your body and overhead. Replace it, squat down, switch hands, close to your body, up into the air, replace it. We're gonna do that as many times as we can in that 20 second period. Now, I wanna make sure that when you're doing these snatches, 
that you keep your dumbbell close to your body. So it's almost like you're zipping up a jacket, unzipping a jacket. Keep your chest up, butt nice and low. We're squatting down to reach that dumbbell, keeping that dumbbell close to our body. Are you ready? We start with 20 seconds of plank walkouts to that plank jack. Or modification, step it on out. Let's go. And that's time, 10 seconds. Let's go, snatch it. Let's go. Keep that core nice and tight. No high butts in that plank jack. And that's time. Let's go. And that's time. Back of your mat. We're already halfway through. Let's go. That's time. Dumbbell close to your body. Butt nice and low when you're reaching for that dumbbell. That's time. Last time. We're doing these plank jump, these plank jacks. Let's go. Last exercise. Let's go. And that's time. Nice work. We completed block one. Block two, we have two exercises as well. We are going to do 
a hollow hold. So we're on our mats. Legs straight, your legs are off the mats, your upper body's off the mats, arms extended, and we're gonna tuck it on in and back out. Tuck it on in, back out. If that's way too much for you, do some crunches as fast as you possibly can. But if you can do this, tuck it in and out. As fast as you possibly can, keeping your shoulders and your legs off the mat the entire 20 seconds. Are you good? That's exercise one. Exercise two, we have that dumbbell again. We're gonna hold it on one end of the dumbbell. We're gonna do dumbbell swings. We're gonna bring it between our legs with our legs bent slightly, not a squat. We're gonna bring it up no higher than eye level. Squeeze those hips, squeeze those glutes at the top. Okay, as many swings as we can in that 20 seconds. We're gonna alternate between the two of them, complete at each exercise four times. Are you ready for block two? Let's get our, let's get on the mat. 20 seconds of work, hollow hold, two tuck in. Let's go. Squeeze that core, use your core strength to get your upper body to move your lower body. You're doing so great. Next time, stand that up. Let's go. Grab that dumbbell. No higher than eye level. Chest stays up the entire time. Squeeze those glutes. That's time. Put the dumbbell down. Let's go. Dumbbell ready. Let's go. Let's go. Time. Each exercise one more time. Let's go. 
that's time. Stand up, one more dumbbell swing. One more dumbbell block two. Let's go. That's time. Block two done. We are halfway through this workout and you are doing so great. This is not easy. Our third block are two exercises. First up, we have flutter kicks. Back on the mat. Our lower body's off the air. You can have your shoulders off the mat if you'd like a little bit more of a challenge, or you can keep your shoulders on the mat. Have your hands on the mat on either side of your body to support you. And we are going to kick our legs quickly, okay? If you come up here, it's a little bit easier. Down here, a little bit more challenging. Make sure that your lower back is pressed into the mat the entire time. Our second exercise, we are going to have our dumbbell in the middle of our mats. We're gonna squat on one side of it. Nice, low, deep squat. Stand on up, squeeze. Jump over it. Squat, squeeze, jump over it. If that's too much, high step over it, okay? But if you can get that jump in, get the jump in. Otherwise, do a nice high step to your squat on the other side of the dumbbell. Are you ready? Flutter kicks, squat to dumbbell jump overs. Get on the mat, get in position, 20 seconds, let's go. Get your dumbbell set up. Let's go, squat, squeeze. Over to the other side. Squat, squeeze. Nice work. Chest up. That's time. Get that dumbbell out of the way. Let's go. That's time. Get that dumbbell set up. Let's go. And that's time. Move it out of the way. Halfway through the block. Let's go. Make those flutters fast. Keep that core tight. Lower back press into the mat. You got this. And we're done. 
get that the dumbbell set up. Go. Time. One more time through each exercise. We're in it together. Let's go. Set the dumbbell up. Last exercise of the second block. Of the third block, I'm sorry. Let's go. Challenging, so you would hover here, explode, and hover, explode, and hover. So your choice for you, are you going to tap the mat and explode, or are you going to have that back foot hover? If the explosion is too much, too much on your legs for today, just do a nice wide step out, wide step out. Just make it a little bit less intense for you if your body demands out of you today. Okay, second exercise, burpees. We are going to take the modification that our body needs. You can't have a Tabata workout and not include at least a little bit or somewhat of a version of burpees. We are gonna go down, dancing that out to plank, back up, jump up, okay? No push up. Just hands to mat, get into that plank position. We've been there a number of times throughout this workout. You can do it. If you want to take out the jump on the top, take out the jump and just stand up and squeeze those glutes at the top. You ready? 20 seconds on the clock. We're going to start with those speed skaters. Let's go. on deck. Let's go. 
Watch your form as you get tired. You need to tap that floor in the back of you. Tap away. If you need to take out the big hop and just do a wide step, do a wide step. But don't sell yourself short because I know that you are so capable of doing it. That's time. Rest. Let's go. Let's go. Get low. Stop. Take a rest. Time. One more time through each exercise and we have finished this workout. You are doing so great. Hang in there. We're finishing together. Let's go. Nice and low, chest up. Tap that foot on the floor behind you if you need to. seconds of burpees is our finish line we're right there we could see it let's go finish up strong let's hold hands to the finish line we got this of you let's stretch it on out take a sip of water towel off we're gonna stretch you should feel so accomplished you did a tremendous amount of work in a short amount of time more than most people do in a week you did in one workout I applaud you and I'm so glad that we got to do this together Let's go to one end of our mat. Let's reach for our toes. And hang out here and feel that stretch all on the backside of our legs for a little bit as our heart rate starts to drop. Let's grab our elbows. And I want you to rag dog, uh, rag doll rather, back and forth way back and forth. Gentle motions. Let's get our hands back on the mat. Walk it out to plank like we've done so many times today already. And let's get our right foot outside of our right hand. Let's drop that back knee and back foot to the mat. And let's stretch it on up. Return that right hand to the mat. Hang out here, chest nice and proud. Feel that stretch all in your left hip flexor. 
Let's return our right foot to our left foot next to it. And let's bring our left foot next to our left hand on the outside. Drop that back knee, back foot to the mat, and open up to the left side. Return that left hand to the mat. Chest nice and proud. Feel that stretch in your right hip flexor. Back to plank position. Let's push up to downward facing dog. And bend your legs side to side. Take your dog for a walk. And when you feel good, stay still in downward facing dog. And I'd like you to walk your feet to your hands and then have a seat on the mat. Bend your left foot or put your left foot outside of your right knee. And we're gonna do a little twist. So right elbow to your left knee and twist to the back side. Let's switch sides. So now your right foot is outside of your left knee. And let's twist. So your left elbow is on your right or right next to your right knee. Let's lay down on the mat. Arms extended, legs extended. Hug your right knee in. Replace it. Left knee in. Give it a good hug. Return it next to your right foot. Arms extended overhead. Let's do a sit up if you can, or just sit on up. Reach those toes. Let's get our arms. So sit however you're feeling comfortable. I like to sit cross-legged. One arm over, wiggle your fingers. Switch arms, wiggle your fingers. Triceps, let's do overhead. Left tricep. Now, give yourself a round of applause for doing an amazing job today. I'm so proud of you. I can't wait to see you on the mat again soon. Enjoy the rest of your day.